My name is Jörg Leef. I work as a technical product manager for VMware's Cloud Provider Software Business Unit. And today I want to show you the different options that we have to extend VMware vCloud Director's user interface. With that, um, vCloud Director offers an API and some SDK that allows you to customize and extend the user experience that tenant users and provider admins experience when they log into vCloud Director in the browser using the new HTML5 user interface. Different scenarios that we have to um, extend the UI of vCloud Director are, first of all, it is possible to do some customization and some branding of the look and feel of the uh, vCloud Director UI. With vCloud Director 9.7, that branding is available on a per tenant base. The branding allows you to create your own cascading style sheets, CSS sheets, to customize the colors, the icons, and the look and feel of the um, vCloud Director UI as I mentioned, on a per tenant base. So you can have the UI look in the, um, for example, the corporate design of your different tenants. And tenant A might look completely different than tenant B. And that might, again, look completely different than all your other tenants. Technically, to enable this branding per tenant, you have to provide the um, cascading style sheets and then make some calls to the vCloud Director API to register the um, CSS sheet as um, branding using the vCloud Director extensibility UI. Examples for that and for um, the other extensibility that I will show you in a second can be found in the GitHub repository on github.com slash vcd sdk. In this repository, you can find some templates for the per tenant branding and um, seeds for the UI plugin and the documentation and examples for this um, extensibility of the vCloud Director UI. In addition to branding, it is possible to customize the UI and add some static links. This allow you, allows you to add your own custom links and modify the links that are visible in that small help menu in the vCloud Director UI. So for example, you can add some links that point to your own um, documentation or to your own um, support page for that. The links are um, shown within the tenant UI, and then you can point them to um, yeah, whatever external web page that you want to. It is also possible in vCloud Director to create your co complete own UI plugins. With that, you have different options, again, to change and extend the look and feel of vCloud Director. UI plugins allow you, as of vCloud Director 9.7, to add second day operations. Into the context menu, of vApps and VMs. So this means if you register your UI plugin, it allows you to have your own custom links in that Actions menu and provide whatever functionality or call out to whatever functionality that you want. This is very powerful because that allows you to offer additional services in the context of the vApp. So they are very visible for your tenants and very easy to um, reach and to consume for your tenants. Examples for that could be to offer some additional reporting functionality, to create some, um, I don't know, backup jobs for uh, vApps, or to um, offer and open some support requests directly for that vApp. When you make the call, 
the API allows you to have the information about the context, so the object where the call has been made. So if a tenant logs in and opens up the actions form of virtual machine number one, then in the call itself, in the API, for your logic, the information about VM1 is available as well as the um, user and the organization and tenant context that um, who was the who called the um, the action the custom action. It is also possible to create your own custom tiles in the dashboard. So whenever a tenant user logs in that first dashboard that he's he's in the UI, it is possible to create your own custom tiles for that. In the main login view that the tenant sees whenever he logs in, where he has access to his org VDCs and the different information about the data center that are managed by vCloud Director. Now, in this UI, it is possible for you using the UI plugins to get your own custom tile in there. Again, this is a very powerful option because it is very visible and easy to access for your tenants. The last option that we have with, with UI plugins is to create your complete own custom UI. So that means you can add additional menu entries in the top main level menu of vCloud Director and then point it to whatever UI experience and functionality you want to offer your tenants. With that, you are not limited to any um, design or technology for the web page itself, but of course it is recommended to use the VMware Clarity framework to keep the same look and feel. But besides that, you are completely open, so you can create whatever dashboards and links and tables and functionality that you want to offer. The backend calls are done through the vCloud Director API. So you add some logic, front end logic into um, the UI plugin, and then this front end makes calls to the vCloud Director API so they can be backed up by any um, API services or external APIs that you want to offer. These different options allow you to use vCloud Director beyond the infrastructure as a service offerings and use it as a central platform to offer additional services beyond virtual machine hosting for your tenants. Thank you very much.